Okay, I'll figure this out someday. Alrighty, so today I was going to show you how to restuff a, a Wendy specifically, but any uh, shaper that has the little tiny, tiny hole. Yeah, you can see that. And it's only inch, inch and a half wide, so it seems like you wouldn't really be able to do much. In fact, I was kind of worried how I was going to get the stuffing out to wash it. But really, you can easily get it out. As you can see here, you just put your fingers in there, and usually the stuffing will grab onto each other, and you'll be able to get out pretty good clumps. But when you put it back in, you don't want to put it back in in big, big clumps. <clears throat> the better, um, the smaller a piece you put in, the better shape you're going to get. So you take your shaper after you wash it, which I put it in a delicates bag, and we just put it in the wash uh, and in the dryer on delicate cycles with the rest of our delicate clothing. So I didn't treat it uh, special in any way, but the Wendy's can take it. And those are from Rapunzel.com if you want to get one. <clears throat> That's what I have on my head right now. This one's not got any stuffing in it at all. So uh, you just take your stuffing, and if you have a little big piece like this, you just tear off a little piece, pick up your shaper, and just stuff it in like that. And I've already got some in there, and you just keep on going. Usually I do about that size of a piece. So about the size of your thumb, I guess, would be about right. Um, if you want to be really, really nitpicky about the shape, you can put in teensy, tiny pieces, and then that'll let you get perfect shape. Because like I said, the, the smaller you have, the more you're going to be able to control the shape. Whereas the bigger you have, the more lumpy it's going to be. Just like when you're making a cake and you have batter. You don't want to leave any lumps in. So, you just keep on doing that until it's completely stuffed. And while you're doing it, you're going to take it and you're going to shape it. You're going to shake it around and you're going to kind of get that stuffing exactly where you want it. And then you're going to put some more in. And just keep on doing that until you get that nice round shape that's easy to work with and is not lumpy. And then you can put it on your head and smoosh it around. You can push it back toward the back. And because you have those little teeny tiny small pieces, you're going to be able to work with it. <coughs> Excuse me. Because you have those little teeny tiny small pieces, you're going to be able to work with it easier. It's going to move and all that stuffing is going to move where you want it. It's not going to be fighting against each other. They're just going to move. So, it's really that simple. Now this, that's the end of that. Oh! This is a scarf I got from Rapunzel and still have yet to wear. And I was like dying to get this scarf. I wanted it in red and I waited uh, a year or two to see if it would get restocked and if it did I never saw it. So I finally got the magenta and it's got these little sparkles all through it so it reminds me kind of of a starry night. So I thought I would take this moment to see how it works on camera <laughs> because you know, who wants to practice first? Wouldn't that be silly? I know I don't have, I don't usually, I usually have a lot of stuffing. And I have no stuffing in this one. So this is a double newness for me. I think what I'm going to do is fold it in half. And then let that raw edge go to the back. And the folded edge to the front. And do I have it even? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm looking over here at my mirror. It's kind of weird to do this with no, with no stuffing. 
at all. Like I feel like it's gonna look, look weird in back. But we'll see. I think it's gonna look weird in back. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm just around the house right now. So it doesn't matter to me. I'm just playing. Okay, so then you wanna take this side after you crisscross it in back. This is just gonna be a really simple regal. Take it over. And I like having a little bit of a V. So I'm gonna take it over like that. Then, see where's that edge? There you are. And there's the raw edge here. Just love how sparkly it is. There we go. Neaten it up. Get that out of the way. Crisscross it. So I have a V. Okay. And this is like a t shirt material, so. It's very forgiving, but I find too, when I work with the t-shirt materials, that if you don't make it nice and flat on your ends, you get really lumpy. <sighs> Just leave it like that, I like that. Everybody needs a little flair with their turban, right? Now, I think I'll tuck it in. Not today. Hey, Malcolm. Malcolm's my son's border collie. He's my son's, but he, whenever I'm out, he always wants to be by me. Yeah, I give all the good pets. <laughs> my son heard that. Oops. He loves you. He just loves me more. Okay, so that's it. Um, I feel like it looks kind of funky in back. So I'm trying to tuck in. Whatever's trying to flip out so that it will look neat, because I don't have much hair. No, you can't help me with this, Malcolm. You don't have opposable thumbs. So now I'm gonna turn around. Let you can see what it looks like. I don't know what it looks like, but hopefully it looks better than I imagine. <laughs> we'll see. So, that's it. That's a simple, Regal wrap for you and how to restuff your Wendy or whatever shaper that you decide to buy. So long.